Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm super excited about the September polish pickup. I'm always excited about the polish pickup, but the theme for September is vintage Halloween and I am just very excited about everything I'm about to show you. There's so many gorgeous polishes, lots of really unique stuff. And um, I, yeah, I just wanna show you. The polish pickup will be open from September 6th through the 9th. I'll include all the specific times down in the description. This is a limited edition type shop. So anything you're seeing in this video is limited to the polish pickup. So if you like what you see, buy it now. You might not ever have a chance to buy it again. Almost like a hundred degrees. So I think my brain is starting to die. Anything else you might need to know is down in the description. <laughs> Let's get into the swatches. This month I am going to go alphabetically. Hopefully that's easier for everybody. We'll start with Bees Knees Lacquer. That's a choice. This polish is inspired by creepy vintage Halloween costumes and it's described as a sepia lion cousin with cyan to pink shimmer and a ton of hollow flakes. This one definitely has a vintage feel to it. It's really beautiful and just a really special addition to the whole lion cousin formula that Bees Knees Lacquer does so well. This one looks really good in two coats, but I think it's probably going to be best in three. That just gives it even more intensity to the base and even more shimmer and hollow. While this does dry quite glossy, I still recommend a top coat that will further enhance the shimmer and holographic effect and just create a beautiful finish for your manicure. Here we have Bluebird Lacquer I Ain't Got No Body, and this one is inspired by the Beastol, hopefully I pronounced that right, Beastol Fluorescent Halloween Skull Decorations. It's a mac and cheese neon yellow orange with a yellow orange to pink shifting shimmer. So do yourself a favor and Google Beastol Halloween. B-E-I-S-T-L-E. -E. Looks like they were kind of out in the 70s or 80s, and I absolutely love that style of art. Um, and this nail polish captures the essence of the skull so perfectly. This is such a fun color. It's so interesting. It's so unique. The formula is amazing, as always, with Bluebird Lacquer. I did find that this was best in three coats. You can definitely see on that third coat, it really brightens everything up. And yeah, this is totally unique, very mac and cheesy, and just so, so pretty and unique. Like, I really love this polish, and yeah, I love Bluebird Lacquer Shimmers. This one's definitely sort of like a chrome shimmer, if you're familiar with that finish that they do so well, and I really just love everything about it.
Moving along, we have Chameleon Nails Enter at Your Own Risk. This one is inspired by a scary looking house. It's a Crelly Trithermal and it has a navy look when cold to warm purple in its middle state and then a bright green when it's very warm. The polish is loaded with this beautiful green to violet iridescent flake and there are a smattering of different types of white matte glitters in here. So this is really unique. I don't have a lot of polishes like this in my collection. I don't have a lot of them cross my desk so to speak so this is really unique and i can't wait for you to see the thermal transition a note about the formula this is beautifully formulated it will be textured because of those white glitters and it will be difficult to remove so definitely use a peel off base if you're worried about you know, having to scrub to get the glitters off, but if you use pure acetone, that will definitely help expedite the removal of this polish. And if you like it, it's totally worth it because this is such a fun and gorgeous creation. Now, despite the glitter being in there, it wasn't overly textured, which was a pleasant surprise. I will still recommend using a glitter top coat and then applying your quick dry top coat over that. So that is what I did here in my video. This is two layers of top coat and it did give a fully smooth finish at that point. So here I'm getting the cold state at my tip and the slightly warmer state, which is that lighter purple. And I really love the addition of the flakes. I think that they make just such a gorgeous contrast and here it is when it's totally hot this is such a pretty shade of green and i am completely obsessed with it Here we have Cleona Cosmetics Handbook for the Recently Deceased, and they're inspired by the film poster for the 1988 Beetlejuice movie, and I'm feeling really old that the Beetlejuice movie is considered vintage Halloween, but here we are. Um, this nail polish is so stunning. It's a magnetic that features a grape purple base with teal indigo shimmer. It also has pink, orange, yellow shifting iridescent flakes and a magnetic pull, which is reminiscent of Beetlejuice's lime green hair. Now this I am going to show unmagnetized on my index finger and then magnetized on my middle finger. This looks beautiful. Whether you choose to magnetize it or not, this is super shifty and it really comes to life when you see me moving it around in the different lighting. I love the magnetic pull on this one. I do think it really brings out the beautiful base color and makes everything pop. It also brings out those pinky flakes even more when you apply the magnet. This polish is best in three coats. It will not be difficult to remove and it does dry quite smooth, but of course, I still always recommend top coat. This is a nail polish that has so much going on in it, but it all works beautifully together and creates such a fun, unique, and beautiful nail polish. It's just quite an experience to wear this one.
Moving along, we have Cuticula Beware for I Am Fearless, and this is a soft gray base with strong purple-pink shifting shimmer and holographic flakes. This one is a really, really beautiful combination of elements. I love how intense the shimmer is. It creates such a beautiful shade of purple. I really love the way this looks. It's kind of dusty but vibrant at the same time and I found that the hollow was quite holographic. The formula was beautiful, super easy to apply and work with. I was happy with it in two coats. You might need three if you paint in thinner layers or have longer nails than I do. And I am applying the Cuticula Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat, which is my favorite top coat. I think it might be available this month in the Polish Pickup Shop, but if it's not, it will be probably next month. It tends to be available every other shop or so. Um, so if you need a good top coat, definitely recommend this one. I pretty much use it for all of my swatches all the time. This is by Danny Vienna, and they went with a vintage ballet called Giselle, and it's inspired by the Willies, or the Willis, who are the spirits of girls who died before they became mothers. And this is a sheer black base with indigo to purple Aurora Shimmer, a purple reactive, sorry, purple UV reactive glow in the dark, effect and hollow flakes. So this nail polish has a really nice formula. It is sheer but it builds up easily. I will recommend three coats. It has a very squishy jelly formulation and the shimmer glow is just phenomenal. The hollow flakes in here are done sparingly which I think is perfect for the overall look of this nail polish and yeah it's just really beautiful super glowy and definitely has a very eerie vibe to it First, I'll show this to you. You can kind of see it's almost got like a ghostliness at the extreme angles. So this is it under lights and then shortly you will see it glowing in the dark. Garden Path Lacquers is inspired by one of Karen's favorite vintage Halloween greeting card ditties, which is when the owl and witch together are seen. This one is a bewitching shade with a lightly tinted orange jelly base accented with black holographic micro glitter, orange to pink to green shifting large particle aurora shimmer, and silver holographic micro flakes. This one is super pretty, very fallish, very autumnal, very seasonally appropriate, and it's also super unique. Garden Path Lacquers is 
just killing it. They're putting out some of the most unique nail polish, in my opinion, and I am 100% here for it. I love seeing things that are different, unique, that surprise me, even after being a fan of indie nail polish for over 10 years. Um, it's just really fun to see innovative stuff. So this is beautiful, gorgeous, amazing formula. Three coats should do it for most people. And I was actually able to smooth it out with one layer of Cuticula Limitless, but you know, you might need two, but surprisingly it was not overly gritty and it removes pretty easily. Next up we have Glisten and Glow Dry and Prep. This is a product that will help prepare the nail plate, correct the pH balance, and pre prepare the keratin surface for maximum adhesion of base coat and nail polish. So it also removes any oil from the nail plate and allows you to ensure your nail polish doesn't peel. So if you have nails that peel or very oily nail beds, this is a product for you. As you can see, it definitely dries out the nail plate and then you can go ahead with applying your base coat. That will definitely help if you have trouble with peeling or getting your nail polish to stick. As for the polish that Glisten and Glow created this month, it's called Casper and it is a white based jelly. It's loaded with color shifting shimmer that shifts blue to purple. This is a gorgeous, ghostly, shimmery white base polish. I'm obsessed with these kind of polishes and the formula on this one is phenomenal. So I absolutely love anything jelly. I love white jellies and then throw in that purpley blue shimmer and let's just call it a day. So this is definitely a top pick for me. I love, love, love having this on my nail. It has a gorgeous formula. Depending on your nail, you might want to do two coats or three. Personally, I only needed two because my nails are super short, but I can foresee most people needing three. Here we have another polish inspired by Beetlejuice and this polish is called Never Trust the Living. It's inspired by Juno from Beetlejuice who is one of the best characters. This one is a deep teal filled with a green to pink shifting shimmer that adds complexity to the base. This induces a base color shift from green to blue. Now, my nails were very, very short when I swatched this, and I'm sure most people's are longer than mine, so you may need three coats, but I was really pleasantly surprised with the coverage in two coats. This does dry down a tiny bit dull, so use a glossy top coat to bring out that shimmer, and I'm excited for you to see the color shift because this one is very very shifty and definitely very beetle juicy it's a great great polish
Next up is Paint It Pretty Polish, Witches and Cats. This one's inspired by a 1930s painting by H. Boswell. So this polish is a magnetic. It's a blue to purple to red multi-chrome base with a silver magnetic pole. So I'm gonna magnetize in a few different ways. So on my index finger, I've obviously started off by going in with the bar magnet. My middle finger, I'm gonna show you a velvet effect. This has a really beautiful fluid formula, super easy to work with, magnetizes beautifully and definitely gives a gorgeous kind of midnight, nighttime vibe. It's just really gorgeous, mysterious, and stunning. I really think this is a beautiful nail polish. It does dry down a tiny bit dull. I do recommend top coat, and I do think that most people will be satisfied with this in two coats. The coverage was really impressive and quite beautiful. And like I said, I just love the magnetic effect in this one. As we move along, we have Penelope Lou's Poison Cake. This one is inspired by a vintage gothic looking cake, and it's described as a multi-chrome dark blue, purple, pink to red. So this one does have a lot of color shifts, even though right now it's mostly looking purple. This is one of my favorite shades of purple. It's so rich and beautiful. The formula on this is fantastic. Penelope Luz always does an incredible job with their formulations. And this one will probably be good for most people in two coats. You might need three, but it does have a good solid formula, not sheer at all. So this one does dry pretty glossy. You can apply top coat as I'm doing here to bring out the shimmer even further and I'm excited for you to see all of the color shifts in this one because they are plentiful. This is super beautiful and very perfect for the upcoming fall Halloween season. Moving along, we have Phoenix Indie Polish Mistress, and this one's inspired by the gorgeous and iconic Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. This one is a black to red magnetic nail polish that also has hints of steel and copper, and there's also blue iridescent micro flakies. So I'm also using a new little I'm guessing like 3D printed magnet that gives the sort of horseshoe effect without using the intensity of a 30 pound magnet. This is from Phoenix. I don't know where it'll be available, likely in their shop, but if I have more details, I will share. So I did two coats with the little mini horseshoe magnet effect, 
and then on my middle finger here I'm putting down a single coat and then I'm going to do a second coat and you can definitely leave this unmagnetized or apply the bar magnet like I'm doing here and regardless of how you choose to wear this polish it is absolutely gorgeous I love the velvet effect with this and I also love the bar magnet effect with it so here you can see it magnetized using that sort of velvet effect on my index and ring a bar magnet on my middle and my pinky I left completely untouched so you can see there's lots of different looks in one with this polish beautiful formula excellent opacity and it's just really creative and beautiful I haven't really seen this combo of colors before with a magnetic effect and it just works so well this beauty is polished for days quite literally dead inside it's a ghostly taupe gray base with glowing green to blue to purple iridescent shifting shimmer this one is so shimmery I can't express how glowy and shimmery it is but hopefully you can just see it so it does have a sheer base and it will be best when you build it up in three coats but it's still gonna have this incredibly ghostly effect which remember when I was like all about ghostly nail polish well this one is definitely in the ghostly nail pol polish category um, I'm so hungry right now that I think my brain is not properly functioning anyway this does not have a cap or limit on how many bottles are available which is good because I foresee this being very very popular Polish for Days has one of the most perfect brushes in my opinion so the application with this is easy breezy it does dry a tiny bit dull so I will recommend a glossy top coat and that's just gonna bring that iridescent shimmer to life and yeah I'm very excited for you to see just how shifty this is Here we have Rogue Lacquer Poison Apple. Now this one is a green crelly base with a green glowy flake, as well as red and black metallic flakes. This one is inspired by the Poison Apple in Disney's 1930s Snow White animated film. This is a classic Rogue Lacquer Flaky Balm. You're gonna wanna apply it in thin coats and you will want to do three coats. The best way to get the best coverage with this kind of polish is, like I said, to work in thin coats. Let each coat dry. And as you can see me doing there, if there's like little bald spots, you can just kind of finesse the flakes with your brush to get it covering all the areas of your nail. And because my nails are super, super short, I really only needed two coats on my middle finger and on my index I just kind of went in and touched things up. I do recommend a good thick glossy top coat. You won't need a glitter top coat for this but it does have texture from the flakes. It will not be difficult to remove and it will smooth out with one layer of top coat but definitely go with top coat even if it's a matte top coat that would look amazing as well.
And last but certainly not least, we have Sassy Sauce Simply Shriek. This is a thermal. It's an eggplant shade when cold to colorless when warm, with blue to purple to green shifting ghost flakies and a glowy violet to red shimmer. Now, it was very hot when I was swatching, so pretty much getting the hot state as soon as the polish hits my hands, but this is stunning. I do love a good thermal. This one is a great thermal, fantastic formula, sassy sauce has a beautiful formula. They also have a fantastic brush and just so easy to work with their polishes. So this will probably be good in three coats. I mean, I might have got away with two, but it won't need more than three for sure. Three coats, it'll be 100% good for everybody. And I love just how beautiful this looks, especially once you apply the top coat. Thermals do tend to dry down a little bit matte, it's just the way the pigment works, but with a glossy top coat, I love a good dark vampy shade like this, and thankfully I was able to catch it here as it's sort of transitioning into its warm state. You can definitely see those glowy flakes popping out, and here in its warm state, it's also absolutely stunning. So big fan of this thermal and the way the flakes and shimmer all work together. I really liked so much this month. Um, again, my brain is kind of fried, but I super duper loved the Bluebird Lacquer because it looks like kind of like neon shimmery mac and cheese. And I don't see that ever. So that is definitely unique. It's super fun to wear and I love the inspiration behind it. The cuticula this month is super pretty. I love the glowy kind of purpley gray base and the hollow flakes. Everything works really, really well together. So that one definitely stands out to me and I cannot resist a glowy white. So the glistening glow is definitely another top pick of mine. I'd love to hear in the comments what you think about what I showed you in the video. Let me know what else is going to be making it onto your wish list for September. And I hope you have a great day wherever you are. And hopefully it is much cooler for you wherever you are than it is for me. Okay, that's it. Bye.